Are you the only collegiate cheerleader with Down syndrome in the U.S.? Is that true? Yes. I love to cheer. It feels good. My name is M. Kevin Heigl, and I'm on a cheer team. Well, I'm a flyer because I grew up in the air. What is your favorite part about cheerleading? <laughs> Oh, actually, I know I have very part. I like everything. I like everything because I, I like to be up in the air. I like being on a team with other people. AC is one of my sophomores. She's great. She likes to talk and she likes to be sassy. Are you excited for the game this weekend? Uh, we have two yeah. games. We have two? Two. We have one on Sunday and Saturday. Okay. We have a busy, busy weekend. You remember all your cheers? Well, not really. Well, not really? What do you mean, not really? Do you remember all your dances? Well, it's stuck in my head, apparently. Well, I hope so. I hope so. So the game coming up is a pretty big one. It's the first one back from break. So everybody's really excited. I think it's going to be really interesting because our entire school is going to be here. I missed you over break. Did you have a good break? Yeah, it's fine, but yeah. yeah, I mean, it. things happen, life happens. I'm not entirely clear what happened to her finger. Um, I heard it was an accident over break, but it shouldn't affect her. She should be good to go. If she is able and willing to do stunts, she will. One, two, push. There you go. Yeah. 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 Gloves down, ready? One, two. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Hi, AC. Hi. Thank you. It's good to see you. <laughs> How are you? Okay. Good. Say hi to Sarah. Hi. How are you? Good. It's kind of still a mystery. I have no idea how she got interested in cheer. When she was little, she hated crowds. She told us probably her sophomore year of high school that she was going to cheer in college. And we kind of did the same thing, rolling our eyes, just, I don't think this is going to happen. It was also, we didn't even know at that point that she could go to college. So to hear her say in one sentence, I'm going to college and when I do so, I'm going to be a cheerleader, we thought that wasn't really possible. She wanted to do it, so I, to my knowledge, she's the first, and it was, it was huge. The top bone is broken. Yeah. Okay. And so you have a game tonight. Can you cheer? Can I you still cheer with it. I can cheer. You can cheer. How might it affect your cheering? I need to put it up. You keep it up. Yeah. Can you still hold two pom poms? Can you I, still do two, or will you only have to use one? I have to use two. You can still use two. So the first time she tried out was. A pleasant but an unpleasant experience. The coach at the time kind of said, you know, she can try out, but she's not going to make the squad. She can be, they called it a cheer buddy, but she wasn't going to be on the court and she wasn't going to be a real part of the team. And my mom is a formidable force and said, mm, she can't do that. My mom had a nice little chat with the coach and explained the circumstances. And so when Catherine got to try out like everybody else, and she ended up making the squad like everybody else because she was good enough. Over the years, more and more of the barriers have gotten knocked down as she's shown people what she could do. She, she kind of said, F you, and walked in anyway and said, I'm going to do it. What's it like to be, what's it like to be in front of a big crowd like at tonight's game? I, I like to be in front of a crowd. Uh, do you get nervous in front of a crowd? Oh no, I'm not nervous. I've been told it's a big game. Honestly, when I come, I don't really care what 
kind of game it is, or I spend most of my time watching one particular cheerleader. she came out on the court and she started cheering, I just started to cry because I remember being at my college basketball games and seeing the cheerleaders and it clicked in my head that that's what my sister's doing at a different university and my sister's doing that with Down syndrome and that's such a big deal and she's, she's the first person to do that and that's so cool. the fact that her motor skills are a little off or you know she has a speech delay so the cheer like the, the chanting is more difficult that 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 stuff's easy for her she's she's used to that she does that every day of figuring out how to exist in a world um, that's not built for her that's why her cheering is impressive her biggest obstacle and the hardest thing in her life isn't an extra chromosome it's the fact that um, able-bodied, able-minded people every day believe that she's not capable of things. And so um, she's extraordinary because she does it anyway. And that's what, that's what makes me really, really proud of her. <laughs>